From the previous video, we reviewed the lecture from the previous lecture about the estimation and the bootstrap process. So here at the end, we have our function. Uh, we wrote how to make our confidence interval. We're using 95%. So then you can decide your sample size. So then we will re heat to do 1000 time to do the resample. So we got our bootstrap resample set. We have 1000 set. So then we can plot the empirical distribution. Then under this, we're using 95% confidence interval. So we find the left side for the 2.5%. Then the right side, we use the 97.5 percentile. So then we can get the interval in between. We are not only run one time, uh, we actually run 20 times for the sample size. One is 100, then compare the sample size is 400. For each sample size, we run 20 times each. So then here, according to this result, we put that in the scatter plot. So here, since we already know the median from the population. So that's why we make that as true. So if we have any bootstrap result, the lower bound is greater than the truth, or the higher bound is smaller than the truth, then we will mark in red. Uh, otherwise, you can see here, the underneath the 20 interval, that's from the sample size 100. So then from the top 20, that's the sample size 400. So we can see here, under the 95%, uh, then we see here, we want to get our estimation. We don't want to, from our sample, to only give one exact estimation about the median. Instead, we give them the range. Uh, we say under the 95% confidence. So here is our range about the median possibly will be. So then you can see here, from this 20 sample, size 400, actually out of this 20, we have one is out of bound. So it's kind of fit with our uh, confidence level because 95% we have confidence with that. Um, the estimation will with, um, in the estimation interval will cover, include, the population median. Uh, so one out of 20 actually is 5%. It's not, uh, it's not covered. Uh, so this interval is not include our population median. So then the same thing you can see here for the size 100, we have 20 times result. Uh, so even the interval for the sample size, smaller sample size, the interval range uh, will be wider. Uh, but the same thing, under this 20 times resample. Uh, so each time we do 1,000 times resample, so each bootstrap process, uh, so under the sample size is 100, we do 20 times. And the same thing, you will have, oh, most of that, uh, 19 times they cover the population median, but only one actually kind of is far, kind of far from our population median. So this one actually is the 5% because one of 20 is 5%. So that's we back to see again about our confidence interval. So this confidence interval actually is an estimate of a parameter based on the random sample. So the 95% we call is confidence level. Then from this confidence level, we have the low and high, we have a confidence interval. So this confidence level, you can set from 0 to 100%. Uh, but most of the time, we use 95%. Of course, if you have a higher level, that means you have wider interval. Uh, because you have 95%, uh, that means 5% is now you are not confident with. Then if you use the 99%, if your confidence level is 99%, then that means you have only 1% is not within the interval. 
So that's why higher level. That means you have wider interval. So what is a good interval? Uh, so this good interval. That means you contains in that interval. You contain your population parameter. So the confidence is in the process that creates the interval. You tell me what's your confidence level, then we find the interval, and this interval generate a this confidence level could generate a good interval, about ninety five percent of the time. So this one, of course, you use the ninety five percent is your confidence level. So on the other hand, on when we do our random sample, then we use the box trap to do the resample. So then we have our empirical distribution. So then from this empirical distribution, if we have ninety-five percent confidence level, then in this ninety-five percent interval range, then we kind of cover. Uh, so in this range, we have ninety-five percent of time. We think we will cover the estimate on um, the parameter. Actually, it's not the estimate. It's our estimate interval from this ninety-five percent. Confidence interval, they will cover the population parameter. So you can see this picture actually very similar to earlier in our demonstration. Okay, so then you can have actually here they say they have one hundred interval. They do one hundred times. Okay, you have different sample. Then we do the resample. Then we have on the From the empirical distribution, we got our left and right. So we repeat that one hundred times. So then you have that interval. You have one hundred interval, and here the green line, of course, is the population parameter. So that's why the green dot is the parameter. It's a fixed value. Okay, just in real life, we don't know about that. But here, from our ninety-five percent confidence level, then we have. Uh, you can see we do one hundred times interval, and ninety five percent they contain that parameter. So we kind of try to, um, we understand our box trap process, but all our demonstration earlier we just want to show you. You think that's ninety five percent chance? Okay, now we see, yeah, um, from this one hundred times we do we repeat to do the box trap process. Also, they do have. Ninety-five interval include ninety-five interval cover our population parameter. So that sounds a good idea. We can have one original sample, then we apply the box trap process to give the interval estimate interval for our parameter from the population. But this box trap. Technology can technique can use for any kind of parameter or not. Also,、uh, that's why we need to be careful. We need to use our method appropriately. So here is something we want to remind you: do not use the box trap method from those condition. And、uh, we start from this one. The first one, the original sample actually is very small. It's not a good idea to use the box trap. So this one actually, what you can do is we can rerun our、uh, example here. In our example, we have one hundred and four four hundred sample size, right? So if here we change to two four eight、uh, or ten sample size, now let's change to two four eight and sixteen. So that's why you can see here the sample size is quite small. Okay, so the same thing. Each sample size we do twenty times. So then we see what is the result、uh, from that ninety-five percent、um, confidence interval. So the same thing after we got that result. Oh,、uh, let's do the plot again. Okay. Oh,、uh, so that's why you can see here. Oh,、uh, so the sample size two is the button, then four, then eight, then sixteen. So you can see actually they have more the red color. Yeah, earlier the line is not very clear, so that's why I just run again、uh, for this twenty times. So then you can see here, on、uh, the sample size two is on the button, 
then 4, then 8, then 16. So you can see the sample size is small. Actually, we have more thread line. Right? So that's kind of, it's not cover our estimate interval, not cover our population parameter. Okay, so that's why here we talk about. Uh, so if the original sample is very small, actually, bootstrap is not a good idea to use that. Uh, you can see our estimate interval actually kind of not cover the real parameter from the population. Okay. Then also the other thing is if the probability distribution for your statistic is not roughly bell shape, uh, so the shape or the empirical distribution is we say the shape you want to look at. Uh, so one thing here, so this bell shape curve I want to show you from our tw uh, lecture 23 um, lecture file. Uh, so you can see, remember we say we want to find the 95% interval. Okay, so we need to kind of assume they are kind of symmetrically. So that's why we can get 2.5% and 97.5%. So this one, of course, is not really ideal bell, uh, bell shape, uh, but that's the bell shape we say you need to look at that. So you can have idea to know the, dis the probability distribution for the statistic. Uh, is roughly bell shape or not. So if they are not, actually it's not a good idea to use a bootstrap. Uh, so for our example, they kind of is okay, not too bad at all, uh, not too bad, uh, but actually still not ideal bell shape. So the last one, actually the first one is very important is the bootstrap earlier example we use the median. Uh, that's a good estimate. Uh, but it's not all the parameter from the population you should use that. Uh, so for some parameter, if they are greatly affected by the rare element of population, for example, very high or low percentile, or the minima or maxima, so then that's not a good idea to use a bootstrap to do the resample. Uh, because remember, our bootstrap, actually, we just want to rerun Many, many times we resample that. Okay, so then we got the kind of harmony distribution. Okay, so then we got that interval. So if that's extremely be affected by only some data, uh, for example, you see if you have minima and maxima, usually they only just have few data size, sample size. So actually it's not a good idea to use a bootstrap. Before end of this, uh, video. Let's talk about more and see the example about the confidence level. Uh, so this one actually we want to show you is if we say from our calculation approximate 95% confidence interval of the average age of the mom in the population is between 26.9 and 27.6 years old. Okay, so then we just want to ask you, can we interpret like this? Okay, so that's about 95% the mom in the population were between 26.9 to 27.6. So actually this one you need to be careful. It's not true. When we have our confidence interval, that result is only came from our sample. We do the book chart, then we find the empirical distribution only in that situation. And also, from there, we say our confidence interval is from the 26.9 to 27.6. So this range, we have 95% confidence. They have the average age including in here. So it's not related to how many percent of the mom is between that range. We only say it's the average for the population. They have, we have 95% confidence they are including there. But we really don't know how all the population distribute, uh, their distribution is. Uh, so we only estimate their average age is in the interval. Uh, so be very careful about our conclusion or for our confidence interval. Don't try to interpret too much on that. 
So the same thing, that's another interpretation. We want to see if that's true or false. So that's the same thing earlier, like we say, we have 95% confidence interval of the average age of the mom in the population is in this range. Okay, so can we say interpret, interpret like that? There is a 0.95 probability that the average age of the mom in the population is in the range of the interval we show. That's the same thing that's false as well. Because we didn't talk about probability. For this case, the parameter is fixed. The interval is fixed according to our bootstrap process. So the parameter is either in that interval or not. Just we have 95% confidence the interval on the average will be between that interval. Once we pick out the interval, there's no probability involved in there.